Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss the latest religious news from a Christian Orthodox perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. At a sniper's gunpoint. During the enthronement of Metropolitan Ioanniki, 20 policemen were injured because of the rioting. On the day of the liturgy, extraordinary safety measures were taken. Hierarchs reached the Setini Monastery by helicopter. Patriarch Porfirio of Serbia later said that he was leaving Montenegro with a mixed feelings. I quote, I am very happy because we have fulfilled the task of the Church. We have enthroned the Metropolitan by the will of the Church and the people. But I am terrified by the fact that there were those in sight who wanted to prevent this act of love with the help of a sniper rifle. Glory to the schism. Ukrainian consul in Montenegro, Mikhail Shmatov, supported the protests against the Serbian church in Montenegro. On his Facebook page, he compared the riots in Setinje to the 2014 Ukrainian revolution. I quote, It is yet another lesson for Ukraine. The Russian world uses religion, sports, and whatever else for its own aims. It is necessary to fight on each front. The protests of Montenegrin schismatics were also supported by the representatives of the so-called Orthodox Church of Ukraine. They called the enthronement a shame and occupation. The same handwriting. Deputy Chairman of the Moscow Patriarchate's Department for External Church Relations, Archpriest Nikolai Blashov, believes that the events in Montenegro and Ukraine have a lot in common. I quote, The mutual support of the faithful of the canonical Orthodox churches in their solidarity in opposing the politicized schisms is highly important. Father Nikolai Balashov is convinced that one and the same external forces wish to weaken the Orthodox unity in various parts of the world. For the sake of mercy, the Pope of Rome has called upon countries to welcome and protect refugees from Afghanistan. Pope Francis expressed hope that young Afghans will receive education that is important for their development and will be able to live in peace with their neighbors. The UN predicts that in this year alone there will be up to 500,000 refugees from Afghanistan. Meanwhile, Catholic Poland is not ready to open its doors. For a few weeks now, dozens of refugees from Afghanistan and Iraq have been stuck at the Belarusian-Polish border. At present, there seems to be no intention to let them in the country. <music> Baptism in the Philippines In the province of Zamboanga del Norte, 12 people embraced Orthodox baptism in the waters of the South China Sea. Previously, the newly converted Orthodox Christians used to belong to one of the Oriental churches. The sacrament of baptism was organized by the mission department of the Russian Orthodox Church's Diocese of the Philippines and Vietnam. This is all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time on the Orthodox View.